here here where at the NAB conference right in New York City so let's check out what all this fuss is about follow me Guys, we are at the NAB conference here at the Javits Center in New York City, and we are behind the scenes, literally, with one of our favorite products that basically helps us get do our reports along the way. So, can you introduce us, introduce yourself to the show? Yeah, my name is Daryl. I'm a product manager at ICANN, and uh, we make uh, all sorts of equipment for cameras. So, pretty much everything but the camera: monitors, tripods, gimbals, lights, and teleprompters as well. Yeah, like I said, you're the backbone when it comes to behind-the-scenes work. So, show me what cool products you got going on. So, these are our on-camera monitors. Okay. We're introducing two new ones uh, during this show: the S7H and the SX7. So, what makes these two uh, unique is that they're super, they're high bright. So the S7H is 700 nits, which is about double the brightness of standard monitors. So that's, that's pretty cool. And we, what we did when we designed this one is we wanted it to be less expensive and thinner and lighter weight. Because most of the time with uh, high bright monitors, they're very expensive and they're also very big and bulky. Gotcha. So this one, we made a thin and light. 700 nits, HDMI and SDI for only 749. Something that's really cool that we use at the office is your teleprompter. Do you have any of those products here? We do have some teleprompters over there okay. on the other side of the booth if you want to go check those out. Can we go check those out real quick? Okay, cameraman says yes, so let's go. <laughs> so here at ICANN we have a full line of teleprompters. We start off with the small ones, but we also have the standard type of teleprompters that use LCD monitors. They can start off from 12 inches all the way to 17 inches. The one we have here is our 17 inch model. Uh, it's very popular because it's uh, for a 17-inch teleprompter, it's probably the most affordable one you can get. And also, we designed it so it's very portable and lightweight. So most of the time when you're working with a 17-inch teleprompter, you need a big heavy-duty tripod to hold it because you need to hold a heavy, tri a heavy teleprompter as well as a heavy camera. Ours are very lightweight. That's interesting. And you talk about how you made a lot of cost-efficient solutions. Was that very difficult considering all this equipment is usually very expensive? It is. So it is difficult, but we have to. We always have to strike that right balance of you know features and price. Hi, I'm here with Patrick from Lumentech, and we're going to switch it up and talk about switchboards. Hey, how's it going, Patrick? Good. How are you? I'm good, thank you. All right. So when I think about switchboards, I think of these big rooms with all these lights and numbers and stuff. This looks very small. What's going on here? Yeah, we uh, here at Lumentech we make um, portable production switchers. It's right here. This is the VS4. So this is only a four channel, which means you can have four cameras running into your switcher here. Or four video sources, I should say. Okay, when I think of that too, I mean, this looks really expensive. So uh, can anyone buy this? Yeah, um, this is very affordable. It's um, right now priced at $950. $950, so. What's that compared to a usual button thingy? Um, well, a production switcher like this usually runs a lot more. This is, this is built for um, your education, house of worship, um, sports, colleges, things like that. So it's for, it's for the seasoned user or the volunteer or the, you know, is this your newest product? This is our newest product, correct. Okay, and what do you think the coolest feature this has? This, the coolest feature, I think, is the scaling feature, which means you can put in, you can mix and match your cameras, your resolutions, your frame rates, and it will all just upscale it or downscale it to whatever, whatever resolution you want. All right. Hi, guys. I'm having some fun here with Melanie at, uh, can you introduce your company and what's it, what's it all about? Well, our company is called VizRT. And as I mentioned to you, uh, it's a Norwegian-based company or originally a Norwegian-based company. And of course, we have offices all over the world. So we're an international global company. Um, what we started with, we're doing broadcast graphics. So everything from Fox News to CNN to Al Jazeera to you name it, all across, you know, Sky TV, TV2 in Norway and Denmark, um, start with broadcast graphics. So everything you see when you're watching the news, your over the shoulders, tickers, lower thirds, that is all done by us. 
that's really cool. So what we're talking about here is that you can have these animated features in your whatever your broadcast is. Oh, absolutely. Like today here we're showing augmented reality graphics. And if you look, take your attention up to the screen here, you can see we have like a transformer looking guy. He's actually, his name is Cletus, I'm told, from Fox Sports. And uh, he's a VisRT graphic and an augmented reality graphic. And he's brought into the studio using the NCAM system, tracking system that we're using here. So with the camera... Uh, just in front of us and the video wall behind us it allows us to have those graphics all looking in the same studio space as it would you know we have the lighting is the same in the studio as it is on uh, our AR graphic here so that, that is really cool you can do anything like if you wanted to bring in I don't know something like a car if you know you have NASCAR you can bring in a car the same way you can spin it you can open it up have a look at the engine and you know everything's rendered in real time so like the, the quality of the resolution, you can zoom in as close as the eye can see, and the, and the textures are still so brilliant and being rendered. And you, you know, you don't skip a dip, skip a beat; it's simultaneous, all happening, and it looks like they're actually in the studio with you. All right, guys, that is a wrap at the NAB conference here in New York City. We're going to head back to the office on Wall Street, but it was a nice change of scenery. Let's give a special shout out to those that let us get a little more in-depth look of their cool, cool products. And guys, we will see you back on Wall Street.